Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. So last night you saw me unbox and do a basic setup on the Synology RT2600AC. And tonight we're going to talk about VLANs and whether this thing will VLAN. Um, and when we say that, will it do inner VLAN routing? So let's hop over to the router. Short and long of this is, um, if you don't want to watch any more of the video, no, it will not do inner VLAN routing the way that we want. Uh, so if you go into the local network setup, you can go over to this IPTV and VOIP, and you can do some VLAN tagging on these ports, but it actually tags the entire port. So that doesn't do what we want. If you do this and you don't have the services set up properly on those VLANs, you lose communication with whatever's on there. So... Um, you know, I spent some time, you know, looking around, seeing what I could do, and then of course this thing runs Linux under the hood. So, if you enable SSH and you change the admin password, you can also for now log in as root. I don't know how long they are going to allow that to happen, um, but it, if you uh, look, if you log in as root, you can run the vconfig. And if we do an ifconfig, we can actually see that the name of our bridge interface is LBR0. And we can see that it's got 192.168.66.1. So we could do a vconfig uh, add and then LBR0 and then add VLAN uh, 10 to that. Now, I did that mess around a little bit earlier, but then you still have to go you know, through all the command line stuff and make sure that this thing is going to work after a reboot. And I can't guarantee that. There's a lot going on under the hood here. You know, Synology does a very good job of, of putting this GUI on. So um, the short and long of it, it will not do inner VLAN routing what we want. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to hop over the Synology forum where we are a member. And we are in the feature requests and product improvement suggestions. Our subject is RT2600AC inner VLAN routing setup on LAN ports. I'm going to say, um, you want to request that in a feature release of the router software to include the VLAN routing in. And tagging on the and ports router. So that that's pretty specific. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to submit this. Now Synology has um, their a lot of their forums kind of locked down. I had opened another one and they had to review it and everything. But this one looks like uh, it's out there. So we'll see. We'll keep a tab. You know, we'll keep a tab on this. Um, and so other than that, I will tell you that I've been playing with this and I'm going to do more videos on this this week to make sure that Mike gets his mileage out of this. Um, I am actually, besides the inner VLAN routing, I am super impressed with this router. Super impressed. So, um, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to disable the admin account. And once I had actually turned on SSH, you, it's really neat. So it's just like any other Synology device where if you've got the auto block turned on, you will start getting these events. So you can see uh, all of these IP addresses that are permanently blocked because they've been trying to SSH into the router. How awesome is that? So I'm actually going to disable SSH so we don't even have that. And that's probably somebody that just got bots or scripts or something out there running just seeing you know, what's available. So, uh, real quick, to recap, it will not do inner VLAN routing. So, if you're going to have a flat network, so if we were only going to have the 192.168.66 network, we're going to plug in our Ubiquiti AC Pros and then tag the guest VLAN as a guest network. Yes, technically you have this SSID, that is a guest network and the the access point is doing all that firewalling for you but that's not really what we're after here so we're going to see if we can get Synology to add this and I'm actually going to go back into that request I'm going to link to this video so and if they see my channel uh, 
they're going to see all the other stuff we do with Ubiquity and all the other products. So it shouldn't be too difficult for them to understand what we're asking for. So I would think it would be fairly simple for them to add it. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a programmer by day. So, you know, everything under the hood is there. They just have to add it in the GUI and make everything work properly. It's not, it's not always that easy. So we are going to continue to work on the features of this router. I mean, this thing does a lot. I am super, super duper impressed with this router. I, I mean, I really can't say enough. And you're going to see as we get into these videos, some of the things that you can do with this. And it's got a phone app. And it's got, it's got all kinds of really cool things. Now, is it for your environment? You're going to have to judge that, you know, after we lay this out. So we're going to do these videos this week. Then we're going to get back to Ubiquity and Lego Wave. Uh, and, and back into the regular rotation next week. Uh, don't forget, next week we're at Wispapalooza. Um, so uh, there probably will, well, we're going to try to do a live stream. We don't know how that's going to go out. But uh, once again, recap, you know, this will not do the inner VLAN routing out of the box the way we want. And so we've submitted a request to Synology to see if we can get that added. Like I said, I am going to go back and link this video. If you want to check this router out for yourself, there's going to be an Amazon affiliate link down there. It doesn't change your price. Uh, just kicked a few bucks to the channel to keep this kind of stuff coming in. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please uh, subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links. And we'll see you in the next video.